too close to call. Unlike the race. So this is real suspense here. For president. With a lot of ballots taking a long time to count. We are done counting and recounting. The result is a landslide. An overwhelming majority of people who responded to our informal survey, three quarters to be exact, tell us customer service has gotten worse during the pandemic. Amy Gazules in San Jose called us early into lockdown after a gym that was closed kept charging her and wouldn't act. I wanted to give the company a chance to kind of do the right thing. This is a recording. People's disappointment with customer service seems to start as soon as they write in or pick up the phone to complain, like Shirley Tucker did. I couldn't get anybody to answer the phone. The recordings kept looping back, kept looping back. Most people told us it took several tries just to connect. 9% said they had to call more than 20 times. We saw that frustration with California's unemployment office. I would call like 200 times. On the upside, we asked if customer service phone numbers were easy to find. 58% said yes. But then, the wait. Viewers gave us an earful about hold music. People's most common hold time was longer than half an hour. And our survey found that people who called for help in Spanish waited even longer than those who asked for assistance in English. When people finally got through, the first rep rarely got the job done. Our viewers usually had to deal with two, three, or four different people. And get this, 7% of people told us they had to deal with 10 or more representatives. Lisa Turner got the runaround with a botched delivery. I literally want to pull my hair out. It seems the reps on the other end of the line are a mixed bag. A fifth of people said their reps were very knowledgeable, but most people thought they were not. Getting to speak with someone is one hurdle. The finish line is actually resolving the issue. Viewers who fixed their problem told us it was usually pretty quick. 24% closed their case within a week. But most NBC and Telemundo viewers we heard from told us they never resolved their case or they were ignored. 735 people who chimed in told us they gave up and stopped fighting, leaving money on the table. 51 of them said they abandoned more than $5,000 because continuing was a waste of time and nerves. It can be stressful. Christine Churchill is with the Customer Service Institute of America. It offers companies customer service training and annually CSIA awards businesses that deliver. Our results did not entirely surprise Churchill. She noted that people are more willing to speak up about negative experiences than positive ones. And our informal survey seems to support that. Still, I don't think consumers are unreasonable about what they want. Churchill notes the pandemic has presented companies challenges. She says businesses are trying to keep up with more DIY technology like chatbots. But she says companies must be careful automating customer service. Make sure it works. So I think right now every organization is scrambling to get every type of self-service method up and running. But if you can't support it and you can't do it well, don't do it until it's ready. Here's one thing we as consumers can do to help improve customer service. Keep the conversation with a company going. And be just as quick to respond to a good experience as you would a bad experience. Say there's an agent who really helps you out and goes above and beyond or their automated system actually does what it's supposed to do and fixes your problem automatically. You should let the company know about that just as quickly as you would tell them about a rude agent or being left on hold for 30 or 40 minutes. There's something else. You know all those surveys we get, those requests for our feedback or your opinion matters? Maybe it actually does. Perhaps we should be doing more surveys to let companies know what we're thinking and what we're feeling that way they can better respond to it in their customer service. I'm thinking that's a pretty easy New Year's resolution to stick to. I'm gonna do more surveys in 2021.